Get that lighter off set. Five minutes to picture. Hey. What do you mean I wasn't being appropriate? Well, what do you mean by what you just said? I mean, when it comes to Black Lives Matter, it seems everyone has something to say. But when it comes to anti-Asian racism, no one seems to care. Dude, that is not a fair comparison. Why not? Bro, what the hell are you talking about, man? I'm talking about our voices not being heard. I'm talking about all the Asian community in Canada or in America getting all the hate and nobody really trying to do anything. Yeah, nobody doing anything about that. Welcome to our world. Excuse me? You heard me, man. Of course I heard you. What are you trying to say? Listen, black people in this country have been facing prejudices for hundreds and hundreds of years in all aspects of our lives, from living to employment, all the way down to the judicial system. And now, you guys are getting a chance to experience everything we've experienced for the past hundred years. It's not so much fun, is it? <laughs> no, of course it's not fun. My turn to experience? Wow, I don't think anyone should experience that. It's just not fair. I'm sorry that Black people has to go through that in history, but it seems like no, not a lot of people know that Asians also face our prejudice. We also have our own massacres to deal with. I know, I know. Do you actually know? I guess not. All I'm saying is we're in this together. We should fight for each other. You know what? I think you're right, man. United we stand, divided we fall, right? I think our voice, our voices are the strongest, purest instruments that we have in our bodies. And honestly, I'm super glad that you're using yours, man. Thank you. In order to be anti-racist, you actually have to choose to do something different than the status quo. Yeah, and to have these conversations, you have to be willing to step out of your comfort zone. Pictures up. All right, we'll talk more about this after. Yeah.